Mm, are, we, are you ready for one long hour of talking in Mona? We gotta get ourselves one Nyoka. Actually, I feel like I kind of got the face cam a little bit better. Huh. That looks actually dope right now. I'm gonna get rid of it sooner or later. Just because it's gonna be a lot of talking. Damn. No, actually, I quite... Damn, actually, I kind of like it. Actually, it turned out way better now. After I've done some re-edits. Music is kind of loud. Gotta get you more silent music just for this part for the fighting i need it louder the hell is wrong with you net need ham <laughs> i guess agnes needs that ham please you have to help me get my little tucker back he ran away and is going to get himself killed oh, oh I, I just know a raptor it as we speak it's more dissolving than melting that is not helpful that was my controller just unplugging. God, this quest, she looks different. Your child is missing? We well, lost seeing him. Oh, I knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Actually, it was not the controller. Oh. Okay, that's new. It doesn't shine anymore. Maybe it's just the battery light just died. And the light is back. Lovely. Lovely start. Oh, Tucker, run away. He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Oh, God. I know where he is. I will help you find your son. Oh, reward. Reward involved, hmm? Well, I, I, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is deathly dangerous out there. I've got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one if you just bring my Tucker back to me. I won't even be mad at him running off. You tell him I, I won't be mad. Bits. I like bits. I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. <laughs> you look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Fetching him home, she said. It will be more like forcing him home. Oh boy, my controller is just... Oh, I'm not gonna steal stuff. Just giving up on me. God damn it. I hate all your problems. I kind of messed up a little bit with my face cam. There's one part that is not quite matching. Where I mis-edited it. Ain't there something behind here? Later on. Later on. There's something behind you. I never saw this town in night time. That's definitely new. Okay. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? <laughs> this isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. Huh. What disappointed. That's new. Ah, oh, there's a quest here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? 
Mm-hmm. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Why well, would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. Talked about going back to Edgewater Fuck. one day. God damn it, controller. He's dying. But that. Guess we're playing mouse and keyboard today. To Pavati, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Oh, have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what, I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Why else would I want where he went? Shh, if he's a friend of Povati, I suppose I ought to it. Thanks, Captain. All right then, leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that aways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. This corpse. About Mr. Pickett. Yeah. You find him yet? No. Hm? Huh? Like what? Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Uh, why would I want that? Anything I can sell him? More Repteton parts? No. Okay. How do I exit? Escape. Go, go. Yes. Oops. Till the fighting starts, I'm gonna run around like that. It's not that difficult. We got locals. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh huh. Oh, friend. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. I'm gonna change your hair, star. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Funny story here. The first time I played the game, I did not pick her up as a companion. First of all, I didn't quite know that she's gonna be a companion. Second of all, because she was... <laughs> seemed like too much of an alcoholic type, and I didn't really care. The second time I played this game, I definitely picked her up and she became, after she sobered up, one of my favorite persons in the squad, in the squad, in the quad, next to Pravati. And her and Pravati in combinations are pretty much the best quad you can have around. They have cool chemistry all together. I'm cool, poor. Pleasure to meet ya. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Also, she has quite a different voice in German, and it does not sound good at all, I believe. I remember. So there was also a reason that German voice acting. Nope. We're gonna have sober talks. I'm told you can get me to an information broker. Well, 
Well, well, well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass, brass nuts. Brass. Let's let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Oh, <sighs> cold water. I don't need an escort. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm not in the mood to fetch things. How much time do you need? More than you have, I suspect. Ugh. I plan to sit here and drink until I find myself awoken sober. What the hell is that plan? Fine, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Mioka needs them steroids. Steroids. Steroid or caffeine something. You don't even know what you're talking. Taking. Ah, oh, steroid. No, medical. Medical. You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Ah, oh, alright. I'll be back. I'll be back. Maguire. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. No. I'll pass. No alcohol here. Suit yourself. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and tell it myself. Now what can I do for you? Um... How well do you know Nioka? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Oh, way too friendly drunk person who talks with everybody in the park. Got it. Got them extroverts. Why is this place called the Yacht Club? But it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Are there any yachts in Stella Bay? Nope. But a man can dream. Oh, you said that so nicely. Oh, you said you're not used to seeing new faces around here. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. Oh, I don't care about those guys. What's my health doing? I need a nap. Again. There's a vending machine in the back. Not stealing anything here. It feels weird with mouse and keyboard. I don't even know where the crouch button is right now. Resident, no name. I need to talk to you folks later, I mean. New face, huh? You from Offworld? I'm sure. Yeah, Captain Goopool of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Yeah, but for how long? Till I get you back into that? Won't you get in trouble for that? I don't see how. When Sanjar took over MSI, he tossed all the old corporate rules. We ain't required no more to work whatever job the company demands. Our supervisor Velma goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. 
us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Oh. I happen to be pretty good with negotiations. No, I'm not. I wouldn't doubt it. You look like the type who tends to come out on top. Not like us cogs, trying to be the squeaky wheel, but just getting deadlocked. It's been days, but Velma won't even hear us out. Maybe you could just make her listen to our demands. Yeah. Play both sides and the side who base better or gives me what I want. Always wins, so you don't know that yet, but you will find out. I'll meditate, meditate, med mediate on your behalf. You would do that? We sure are lucky you decided to come up to the patio today. I knew drinking up here would be good for more than the view. <laughs> right. Okay. I will outload operator, outload operator. Another time, maybe. I don't need to steal. I just need to drink. Um, mm, nope. Hey! I actually found my inventory. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Gabe. Thanks. Thanks. F use. Damn, that was quick. Cool, cool, cool. We're playing mouse and keyboard. My controller gave up one too many times. Did I get into fights? Then it's on. Do your club. Okay, Monarch Industries. I need the doctor. I don't want to talk to Sanjay yet. Feel like I'm not going like the right direction. Okay, we can talk to the girl. Talk to me, baby. Where's Wilma? Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Mm. Uh, I can't. What are you talking about, Catherine? I don't want to lie. Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. You what? You should probably see a doctor about this. That's what Braxton is. He's our fish doctor. Come on, that's like calling a dentist a doctor. <laughs> He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Ah. Uh... Don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Is the board secret secretly Amazon? You, yo, who is this Catherine you mentioned when I first come? That is an A when I first came in here. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Well, it's time to turn the face cam off because I'm just moaning, not moaning, gasping, yawning, yawning. Damn it, English. Apropos English. I will probably have to do a German version of my Fallout Morning Guide. People are asking for it way too much. You said Braxton had been stealing drugs. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. Mm. <sighs> you should have hung that slaze back out to dry. Someone would have if this were a corporate town. 
but we pride ourselves on giving people a little breathing room. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. Ah, apropos breathing ground, let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Uh... They want infiltration. That's not the right word either, right? Infilt. Damn. Caleb says they need a raise to keep up with the prices around here. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook. Not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. Ah, oh, the hard workers, aren't they? Don't they deserve some compensation for that? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. <sighs> Someone's going to notice your shortfalls. Before long, you're going to be held responsible. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. Hmm. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Oh, are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Mm. Oh. Fine by me. I pretty much always stole those goods. And then get paid per her handsomely. So it's the most money outcome for me. Okay, where is that doctor? Like I'm always running in the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm definitely running in the wrong direction. <laughs> you don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? Oof. It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. God damn it, Ellie. Be nice to her. Just be nice to nice people. It's not that difficult. You can be assholes to people who are assholes. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this. <sighs> if you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, um, if you'll excuse me. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Uh, I'm gonna go there. Uh, I'm gonna go there. Vending machines. Mm. Oh! oh! Sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. God damn it, Not Pavati. Much I can do for this guy. Don't get that emotional, Pavati. Oh, we can sleep here. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I like sleeping next to corpses. It's the room temperature a little bit colder. That makes no sense. Victim. You don't look so good. I mean, there's a lot to steer here. So, controller. Just like it makes no sense that I need a controller to steer stuff. Oops, wrong button. I'll keep it down. I can't take that. Or the sugar bombs. Well. Now we're also stealing what we can find here. Looks like a fight. Examine. Correct out outfits. Uh, 
That ain't too much to steal here. Nice cozy bed. That's a note. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's some quest journal somewhere here. Passion pills? Nope. I guess yes. Let's do that first. So we have Neoka with us. Neoka. The Joker Neoka. Oh boy. Hello, dearie. Well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Oh. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Oh, Ellie, please talk to her. She's creepy. Ah, medicine. I've been asked to pick up caffeinoid supplements. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, hmm. too. Hmm. Please leave medical advice to the professor. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Oh, not gonna say anything back, Ellie. I don't steal. I don't lie. I definitely don't steal. I'll never steal. I would not steal ever. I don't know, Auntie. Auntie. You have to pry that secret for my sweet little cheeks. Don't blame me if I puke on your <laughs> shoes. Uh, uh, Aren't you a saucy thing? Uh, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Uh, you have to... Exp you can't puke, Ellie. You have to... My allowance to puke. Experience? I've guess you worked here a long time. You are too precious. How about you just tell me who that Caffinoid's for, hmm, dearie? It's for Ellie. Ah, oh, that's profit. Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Also, oh. I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. Uh, I suppose that's reasonable. Indeed. Now, how about you tell Auntie who this pickup's for? New Yorker. Oh, her. <laughs> it's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Well, oh. well oh. there must be some way I can increase Neoko's allotment. Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh. I can. Where can I find this Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. <sighs> Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. Oh, the flower of enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Uh, uh. Chin up, dearie. Uh, what's in here? Toilet. What's up here? Oh, I have that. Create new account. I feel like there are many ways to get this. And we definitely don't lie and steal. Never do that. Oh, don't look at me like that. I didn't do it. Where are those other people? Oh. 
the hell is holy holy taxi free uh, okay holy holy toxic free holy holy toxic free this is the truck for me holy holy toxic free holy holy toxic free holy holy toxic free stealing cathanoid this is the truck for me hey crew don't look at me like that i'm still gonna talk her into giving me more come to share a secret with auntie abigail come to share a secret with auntie i guess abigail. i will not I hear rich people in byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap musk bet they also pay to make it stink less oh. okay damn i'm first again it's definitely this map gets you thirsty quicker okay where is my <laughs> oh you're already toxic free you're already toxic free the truck for me yeah okay Nyoka. here are your pills i definitely didn't steal the nice nice knife ah the charmer welcome back drink chatter business all of the above business just business I got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know? Says someone who's never had any fun. What? Exactly. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense of... Sensible... Got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be Early. careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Oof. Gainful employment. Duh, hate it. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Get me to Devil's Pay. Oh, you want to see Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. You can't miss this radio tower. Huge devil horns in the sky. Rough trek, though. He's way southwest, all the way past Fallbrook. If you're keen on hunting a few things, we can take the mountain's western slope. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. No, I don't mind a foursome. I actually want to take all three with me. That would be one hell of a quad. I mean squad. I mean actually both of those things do work. One hell of a quad. Yeah, four people quadriceps. That works. Ah, oh, damn. I never took Ellie and Nyoka together on those trips. Man. Mm, I'm gonna take Ellie and Nyoka first and then Pavati and Nyoka later. Sorry, Pavati. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. That's a pretty big gun for a hunter. <laughs> I don't know what the game's like on Terra 2, but out here, the daintier weapons ain't gonna cut it. Manasaurs require stopping power. Oh. Yeah, but what's left after you're done with them? Are you two flirting? I have big guns too. About what goes on in a marauder's head? No. No, they're crazy. Okay, we got long guns up pretty goodly. Oh fuck, it's all bonuses. Mm, I need to get other things up too, but I'm gonna dump one more into long guns just to make sure. Non-critical haste, ignore 50 armor. Perks. We need a new perk for killing. Yes, this one. And New York uh, has... <laughs> I don't like her armor. I don't have a replacement armor. I have a helmet. 
You're welcome. Ellie, what are Ellie can get upgraded? I don't feel like I need that. Okay, let's just eat. It's cool. It's cool. Yoka. Uh, never lying. Range damage. Armor rating. Range damage, of course. Damage to creatures. Hmm, that's good. Ha! Huh. Give me. Just she's good to take on the road. Oh, I need to get her some armor. Oh, I need to Please get her some armor. Do you all want to do this this episode? This will be a long conversation. Let's see what else there is. Oh, maybe. Come to share a secret with Auntie nope. Abigail. I am not here for that. Left field toss for betting. Oh, I need to be here. No. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. Never watched a single one. So who do you one. follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Oh. Oh, who has time to watch grown men and women hit balls with sticks? Everyone needs a good diversion. That's what keeps you from thinking about the marauders outside town. The raptodons chewing at the walls. Tossball's just about the only good news we get around here. When our frequency's not too clogged up anyway. So, what can I do for you? Oh, I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Hmm. Just like me. And they're getting fixed. One wisdom tooth removal. <laughs> After the other. What do his teeth have to do with anything? I'm listening, I mean. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. <sighs> I don't think there's a right person to owe money to. That's actually not dumb. That's just realistic. Ain't that the truth? But Elijah and his buddies are mean, and they'd been pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually mm. loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're mm. not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. I'll make them pay. Good. Someone's gotta. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Huh. Nice. Free murder for me. What is that? Just a building. Who are you, resident? Evil. Oh, I won't play it. I won't play Resident Evil. I can take a hint. Go. I'm not too big of a Resident Evil 4 fan. This is, this is, this is not my game, sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's ignore that moment. And I will probably do that quest in the next part. <laughs> I'm running around in circus. I, I shipped have... the Merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, slept with it. 
Not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> I know what their conversation is going to be like. I never took those two people with me together. It's mostly just Ferrati and everybody else. God, how the hell do I get behind here? Ah, here? Nope. Here it is. I don't need to save actually. Just need to make sure I have the wrong, the right gun out first. Okay. Okay. Berta. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Beat it. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Oh, this is the part where I'm going to do my first cliffhanger ending. Yay! Everybody loves that. Yo, peace out.